You're alive. Because I've known her since we were kids, Hello. it's okay. But I'm like, if I would have met you as an adult, will we be friends? I'm not sure. Well, friends, I know I'm a little bit late with my review, but I wanted to see the aftermath of that episode before speaking on it. Child. And I was not disappointed. The internet dragged Mia so bad that she deactivated her social media because she couldn't handle the smoke lol. Her and Pinky and the Brain have been trending since Sunday. The fans took it to Twitter using hashtags Robin White. So Mia, Team Wendy and Giselle to slam them. So in this video, I wanted to focus on Mia's behavior and her apology. In my next video, I will be talking about Pinky and the Brain's hypocrisy and Eddie dragging the F out of Robin White. Let's get it popping. Okay, so it all started when Patricia told Mia he hasn't quote beef with Wendy, just because he assumed that Wendy didn't want to go through the Nigerian lounge project anymore, which he thinks it's messed up. You would think as a professional he should have reached out to Wendy, but we know one thing about Patricia, he's going to stir the pot. Neen was right. This is what you need to do, you need to stay out of women business. So when the ladies arrived at bar one, Patricia wasn't too thrilled to see Wendy. Mia and her confessionals tell us her and Patricia are basically like family because of that Mia decided to play Captain Save a Ho. Mia then proceeded on confronting Wendy with the accusation made by Patricia. She tells Wendy, Patricia has beef with her because she stopped communicating after the contract was sent to her, which is a surprise for Wendy. In her confessional, Wendy let us know Peter is the holdup, he failed to respond to her request on seeing the restaurant. Mia then has the audacity to tell Wendy she should have called Peter to tell him she was in Miami. Hmm. I don't know why Wendy will feel the need to talk to him. That's not her friend, nor her man, WTF. Wendy tells her Peter needs to talk to her husband if there's a problem. Not her. And they don't get down like Mia and her husband. Again, Mia couldn't handle the smoke and just like a toddler, she throws her drink at Wendy's face and security had to restrain her. She later throws her purse at Wendy before storming off. While in the car, she calls G crying like the victim. She failed to mention to her husband that she was the one that started this. You're not ashamed of yourself. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. As a result of her poor behavior, she deactivated her account on Sunday, I believe. Thank you to Queen of Bravos for the screenshot. Before we get into her apology, let's take a moment and see what the people have to say. LOL, enjoy. Mia responds to the backlash by calling her actions towards Wendy intolerable and she's taking accountability for her behavior. Whatever Mia, this is literally the second time she throws something on someone. Last year she threw salad at Candace, in her post she's hinting she may not be coming back, by love. Before I go, Robin White and her master antagonized Wendy. I would have slapped the F out Robin's hand. Look at her face. She looks like a demon. When we said she should have a voice, we didn't say to become a bully. Anyways, I'm about to make another video addressing her mean girl behavior and her statement she just released. Well, friends, this is the end of this video. Do y'all think Mia was wrong? Should Mia get fired for her behavior? Why do y'all think Patricia was there? Please leave a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts. See y'all in the next video. Hope y'all are ready to drag Robin. Call y'all back. Bye.